Hi, I'm Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics. Today I'm going to show you how to make some simple pillows. We're going to take one yard and make one pillow. Now these pillows could be made to match your couch or to match a quilt that you've made to put on your bed, but we're going to make them fairly simple but beautiful. I'm going to use this gray. It just has a little texture in it, but it's pretty much a solid and we're going to quilt that on my home machine. Then I'm going to make a black one and we're going to put this on the long arm. So let's take these over to the studio and get started. Now each pillow is going to be made exactly the same way until we get to the quilting. So I'm going to show you how to make the gray one first. I need one yard and I need to iron it up nice and flat. Now we're going to cut one 17 inch square out of this fabric. Now I like to put a weight on the far end of my plastic ruler because it keeps it from sliding and I can get a nice accurate cut. I have my 17 inch square here and I'm going to line it up on the cutting board along the lines here and I'm going to use Taylor's chalk to mark with. Taylor's chalk comes off of the fabric very easily, but you can see it. It just doesn't make a real hard line, and that's what I want. So I'm gonna draw right along the diagonal here. Now I'm going to move my ruler here. I'm gonna move it one inch over here, but I'm gonna move it an inch and a half over here, and I'm gonna draw another line. So it's not parallel to the last one, but close to it. We're going to move the yards, the ruler again, one inch here and one and a half inches more there. And I'm going to keep doing that all the way along the pillow here. I have one half of the pillow all the way marked. So they're an inch here, an inch and a half here. So they're getting a little bit wider as we go. Now I'm going to mark the pillow the other side. Same thing, just an inch here inch and a half here, so they're going to be wider here and narrower, narrower at the top. Now we need to pick out a thread color. We have a lot of options on the gray. Depending on what other colors you have in the room, you might want to quilt this in pink. That will show just a little bit. Purple would be nice. That's quite a bit darker. We could even do black, and that would give us a lot of impact. White would look good. So you see how many things there are to pick from. So you have to think of what other pillows are going with it, what else is in the room. I think that I am going to go with the white. The only other thing we need is a piece of batting. So I have a scrap here from one of my quilts. This is the Hobbs, 80% cotton, 20% polyester, and I use that in all of my quilts. So I am just going to pin around the edges here, and then I'm going to sew a quarter inch in all the way around the pillow. Now we're ready to quilt the pillow top. I'm gonna to start in this far corner and just go all the way down. Now, if you wanna put a pin or two in, you can. I don't think it's necessary on my pillow here because I'm going on the diagonal and things don't tend to move. So I'm stitching right down the chalk line and the needle going in and out actually helps all the chalk come off of the pillow top. So when I get to the bottom here, I'm just going to pivot and I'm going to just sew down to the next line right in the seam allowance. That won't show and now I'm going to go up the next line. I have the whole pillow top quilted, and most of the chalk comes off as you're stitching, but you can always get a cloth and rub along those lines to get any of the remaining chalk off. Now, the rest of the fabric we had from our yard, this is what we're gonna use for the backing. So I've got selvages here, and I'm gonna leave those there, and I'm gonna cut this to 18 inches. Take one of the backing pieces, and we're going to fold back about five inches 
and we're going to put this also about five inches from the top there. And this is the selvage. We don't have to hem it or anything because it's not going to come undone. Then we're going to take the other half of the back and we're just going to overlap it about two inches there. Make sure everything is straight. And then we're going to pin through all the layers around the edge. Now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch just inside our previous stitching all the way around. Now that it's stitched all the way around the edges, I'm just going to trim this off. I like to use scissors and I'm going to leave about a 3 8 inch seam allowance here. Once you have all the sides trimmed off, you want to trim off the excess bulk in the corners. Now we're just going to flip it right side out. So I'm just going to reach in here, flip it, reach to the other corners, flip it, and then from the back side is the easiest. Just go in, poke out all the corners, and then we will just hand press it to make it lay nice and flat. Now we're ready to work on the black pillow. And this is the one I'm going to put on the quilting machine. So I have it all basted on here and I've got three colors of thread. And I really want the thread to show on this one. All of these will show, but I think that this silver one is going to be my best option. Now we need to pick a quilting pattern. And I've previewed several of them. This one would be very nice. It's nice and swirly. I like that it's different than the last pillow. It's different than the gray one. I want to have a different pattern. That would be very nice with the leaves. And I actually think this one will look really good. There's quite a bit of thread because it, it goes back on itself. So the quilting will be very prominent with that pattern. I have the pattern all programmed in. So we are just going to tell the machine to start. It's going to go to the starting spot. I'm going to do two small rows of quilting here. Oh, that's going to look really nice with that white thread. Both of the pillows are finished. This is such a fun project. So this guy, which we quilted on lines, not completely parallel. The reason I do that is because my lines might be crooked and if they're going a little bit farther away each time, you can't really tell if it's crooked. Now this one that was on the quilting machine, look how beautiful the stitching looks. And that really makes the pillow look really fancy. If you go to buy these kind of pillows to match your couch, they're really expensive. So this is the 16 inch size. Of course, your couch may need bigger pillows, but this is a good bed size. And these also would look good on lots of the quilts that we make. Even though I quilted this pillow top on the long arm, I do understand not everybody has a long arm, but this is the perfect size project if you want to do free motion quilting on your home machine, or if you want to chalk out a pattern. Even if your machine doesn't free motion, you can curve around and turn this as you sew because it's so small. Now, these ones are so much fun that I decided to make a third. I have a lot of black and white prints. And this one just matched these guys perfectly. So I just had to make one third pillow. And this doesn't have any quilting at all. It's just a top with a little bit of batting behind it to give it a little bit of body. Thanks for watching our tutorial today on how to make a pillow out of one yard of fabric. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to send us pictures of any pillows that you make. We would love to see them. Happy quilting.